Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Trish and I do videos on luxury bags, beauty, and sometimes funny stuff. If you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button down below and subscribe now. Today's video is going to be a review on the YSL card holder. So this is the YSL Zip Fragments card case. That's what it's called. And it's in the pebbled black leather, so you can see the shine over there. And in the silver hardware. This card case measures 13 centimeters by 8 centimeters and it fits five cards and with a zip pocket for cash or other cards that you have. So I got this card holder in May 2017 when we went to New York so this is one of the stuff I bought from that trip and it came in in this little box. I wasn't sure if, no, I think YSL and Manila didn't carry this exact uh, combination that I wanted, so I got it in the States when I went there. So it came in this cute little box with this little card pack where it's just basically the card the information inside. And it was packed in this little dust bag, this YSL dust bag. What I like about it is that it's so sleek. It's not like the card cases that you see nowadays, which are horizontal. So the cards, you put them up there instead of to the side. So I liked how it looked so sleek. I felt like it could duplicate as a wallet already because it stores a lot of cards and it even has this little pouch. So I was thinking when I bought it that it could be like a mini wallet. Whereas if you compare it to the other card cases like by Chanel or Louis Vuitton, the cases they have are mostly horizontally aligned. Which is why I like this better because it's just so sleek and it's longer. It, it, it'll be able to fit more cards inside. So I've been using this card case for about maybe four months now because when I got back from the States I didn't use it until like a month after or something. And this is how it's fared so far. So as you can see this is a close-up of the card case. Again I mentioned it's 18 centimeters on the top and 8 centimeters on the sides. So this is what it looks like with the pebbled leather. This is how grainy it, it, it looks, close up. And this is how it fared in the, I would say, four months that I've been using it. Okay. So wear and tear, I would say that it definitely is stretched out because I've been putting a lot of cards inside and I've been overstuffing this. It originally came out very flat and it looked really it looked really sleek, it had that really good sleek effect, but since I overstuffed it with cards and everything, this is how it came out to be now. I would say I'm not really that impressed with the YSL quality because if you notice over here, I already noticed some some thread coming off. And this only from what, four, four months of use. So if you can see that's... Uh, thread and at the back some thread came off too. So it still managed to hold up pretty well but the loose thread was just too much for four months. I mean it would have been okay if it were like a year or two but this, I mean you don't pay that much for this kind of quality. So now I'll show you guys how I usually use this card holder and trust me I overstuff it quite a bit. So. This is what I've been using instead of my wallet for the past four months, so I haven't been using my wallet anymore, which is why I've been overstuffing this and I feel so bad about it, but this is how I tend to use it. So let's just go with the basics first. Um, I have two debit cards. I have to be careful with the two debit cards. Put it in there. So that's already two cards. I have my GeForce ID, this like what I used when I went to the classes that I had for dance, so put that in there. I have my waxing card, and what, what do you call this? A frequency card as the wax place that I go to. I have this, it's the YSL card that came with the thing, and I don't know why I still keep it, which I think I just... I should just leave this because it's not necessary and it just makes the entire card holder even more bulky but it's okay so I'll get rid of that. 
Um, I have another debit card, which I'll put in there. And then I have my Starbucks card. This was the design from 2016, Christmas edition. Or 2015, I'm not sure, but yeah. So this is basically the cards that I have in the five in the five slots. So there's the Starbucks one, two, three, four. I have six cards. So three debit cards, my ID, Starbucks card, and the frequency card. So that's full. And then since I have to put my license in too, I put it in this little folder over here. And my license, you know how it is in Manila, just the LTO just takes forever in giving the card, so this expired. I'm not sure what I can show here, <laughs> just my photo. So this is an expired license ID, and I already got it renewed for this year, but since the card itself just takes so long to arrive, I have to have the receipt with me as well. So I always just attach this over here. this. I swear I'll be, oh please give the cards already. And then I put it in there. And I put it right in here so I also have my license with me. And then I have a few checks. These are from work. So East West. Because <laughs> I, I don't like cashing in my, my salary unless it's like a huge amount so I tend to compile my checks so these are three checks before I actually withdraw my salary and I swear I'm about to withdraw them like this week because <laughs> it's already quite a few so you put that in there and then some receipts okay I, th I don't think I need these but they were inside so and then some cash which is not even going to fit anymore. With the cash, I think it still fits. So that's like a few bills inside. It's dying. So you can still close it. This is with my ID, the checks, and some cash inside. But I still have my car Starbucks card for the planner. <laughs> this only has two stickers because <laughs> I already claimed the other one. So. And since I don't have a wallet, and it, this is too big, I just put it right in there. And this is how I go around about these days. This is what I've been using inside of my wallet, and it's been great. But I think it's too small for me. I might have to change this card holder soon, or either I change the card holder, or I just declutter it and just really put what's essential inside. This is a great card holder if you're looking to just like really minimize the stuff that you bring along with you. So just a few cards and you should be good to go. I actually like the structure of this and how it was made because it's perfect if you're going out and you, you know I seem to want to go out a lot, but it's perfect if you're going out and you just carry, a, you're, you're carrying just a small bag. So this would fit perfectly because it just fits all your tiny little stuff, all the essentials that you need can fit in this. Although it is quite small for the amount of stuff that I use, I've still been able to use this quite well and it's served its purpose. So that was my review on the YSL card holder. If you guys have any more questions about the card holder or if I have any card holders to recommend to you guys, just let me know down in the comment section below. And thanks for watching. Bye!